Hi, it's Anna Hangley here. So, I have a few things to say before we actually get into the actual video. Um, <clears throat> um for starters, instead of uploading on Monday at 3, I am going to be uploading on Wednesday at 3. So, not Monday, but Wednesday at 3. Um, secondly, the second thing actually is is I realized when I was in the middle of editing that the train is just really annoying in the background and I thought I closed the window because I am in the window have blackout curtains to somehow like get rid of the noise but apparently they were <clears throat> the window was not closed and so I just it sounds like I'm sick I'm not it's it's now fall here in Minnesota, and it's just allergies kicking me in the ass. And, um, what else was there? Oh yeah, and the third thing is, in this video, I look like I'm just not interested, or I'm just not going to be there. I, w I did. It's just, I just got off of work, it was a really, a really boring day of work, and I was just tired, but I still needed, needed to do the video, so, so yeah, I did, I did want to do it, but at the same time, I didn't, because I just want to go to bed, which is what I did, like, right after, I just, you know, I just recorded, and then I went straight to bed, and those are all the announcements that you make, now let's get back to the actual video. Hi guys, it's Hayley again. So, I hope you guys enjoy my tour, vlog, whatever you want to call it. I just call it a vlog, I guess. Of uh, my first time going to the Renaissance Fair this year. I had a super fun time and I really hope to go sometime next year. And I might be taking you, but it might not be here in Minnesota. It might be in North Carolina at that time when we do move. So in this video, I like I said in I think it was the video introducing me, um, I have So if you've seen the video introducing me, I'll link it down below if you haven't. Um I have mentioned that I had keyboard had a hearing aid back in the day. Um and here I am to discuss it with you. So, how I came to have a hearing aid back in the day, like I said, um, so it was actually after my second surgery that it, the second surgery I failed. So, I, so after the second surgery that actually did fail, unlike the first one, I guess they both did, um, the doctors, they were trying to figure out like, what my best option would be. They did a lot of hearing tests, which I hated those growing up, and I still hate them today because it's literally the same thing as going to the eye doctor and then doing the thing where it's like, what, which one's better, one or two? It's like, but it's basically the same thing. Except for hearing tests, what's different about it is... <sighs> So you, so do you guys know the white noise machine where it's like, it's literally just white noise, and they tell you to press to press the button. You know the white noise machine where it helps you sleep at night, and it's just basically white noise. Well, the person that actually does the hearing test, they will tell you that to press. The but they give you what hearing test is they give you they give you a button and you wear these really like oversized um oversized headphones and if they tell you to press the button when you hear the beep and they'll be like it's like static white noise that you have to hear the beep through and obviously Obviously, most times I could not tell the difference, so I just press it if I think I heard it. So, so yeah, guys, if you 
actually administer those tests for me. I'm sorry, but it was no different for me. Just ignore, ignore the train. This is we live near a train station, so. So yeah, after years of just of just that mess, and again, the second story I found. My doctor's finally was like, hey, why don't you try this thing, which is a hearing aid? And they they said, here's here's the different options. Here's what someone in looks like, and there's a bunch of different different ones. There's one that goes behind the ear, one that goes in the ear. And actually now it's, now they have ones where it's actually, I think it connects to your Bluetooth on your phone. Like I know it's Bluetooth, but I don't know if it connects to your phone or not. But the one I chose is the behind the ear where it, like it, the ear pierce goes obviously in the ear. And the other, the other part of it goes behind the ear. So behind the ear. And... At that time, I was like the age of be between the ages of ten and twelve, so fourth and fifth grade. Really? What? Come on. Between the ages of fourth and fifth grade, and they gave you options on colors for the part that goes behind the ear and the earpiece. I did not like like the I did not like the color choices I chose because the piece that actually was behind the ear it was like it was like a, a sky blue and the piece that goes inside the ear very very vibrant hot pink and it's like oh this is gonna be awesome that'd be so cool I was a dumb child no no it wasn't see. So yeah, it's just no. It was not a fun time for me to be here with that hearing aid. I wish I got one for the other options, and here's why. I was a really dumb child, and here's why. No, I should have gone for the for the other options, and here's the reasons why. So. So when you actually get your hearing aid, they test it to like, I, I guess calibrate it. I don't know what you call it. I'm not, I'm not a doctor or a scientist. I don't even know any terms that they use, but they, they test it. Like they hook it up to a machine to kind of, I guess, balance it out. And then you put it in to test it to see if you can actually hear. And... And I, I actually could not tell the difference, but I already said yes, this is a, I guess this is the choice I, I made, and I'm just going to stick with it because I'm a dumbass child. Um, so yeah, here's how my hearing aid work. Um, they have like a little switch, um, and it has one, it has a setting one and a setting two. The first setting, if you if you have it on in the first setting, it will pretty much basically you, it will help you hear like what's in front of you, and obviously if you switch to the second, you can hear what's behind you. Really, again, I lied, so I couldn't tell the difference, but it was already paid for by the insurance, and nothing I could have done at that point. And my parents would have really pissed off at me if I said it, it didn't work, so... I just stuck to my guns on it because I did not want to get in trouble. Um... And it was just a fucking bitch to queen. Okay. So they, like, on the bottom of the, the, the piece that goes... The piece? The piece that goes behind the ear. On the bottom, you flip the a little door underneath underneath the piece and they give you the smallest battery. I think it's like a size 13, but it's literally the size of the small P. And you're supposed to replace it like every, I believe it was like every two weeks. 
And at night, like, I know that there are the hearings where you can charge it, like, put it in, like, a charging booth, and it charges overnight. Mine was the battery, so, so every night, before bed, you're supposed to take the battery out. The battery out because, it, obviously, a battery that small, it's not going to last that long, so they tell you to take it out. And just let it sit overnight, and then do it to put it back in. <sighs> but the cleaning part is the one that irritated me the most. <sighs> so basically, the the earpiece, the piece that goes in your ear, you're supposed to pull it apart from the little plastic squishy tube, the tube that connects the earpiece to the the piece that goes behind your ear. You so take those apart and then put it in like warm water for how for however long. But if you have earwax like like in the hole, like it Okay, so the earpiece. If the earpiece is clogged with earwax, because I collect a lot of earwax, like basically my ears are, I can make like candles because of how many wax they that they make. Um Embarrassing, I know, but that's how it is. But yeah, sometimes when it get clogged, like, and if the the wax hardened, they tell you to take a toothpick and like just poke it out in the from the holes, and it was disgusting. And you had to, and once you you finish cleaning it, you're supposed to like you know pat it and then like let it just air dry. Before putting all together and, and whatnot. Now, as I said before, with the battery and the house to stick it out at night so the battery won't die on you, you're supposed to get into the turn off, put it beside you, but you're supposed to put it in like a small. Obviously, you're not supposed to. You don't have to put it in a small container, but that's what they told me to put it in a small container. But leave the container open, so what's the point of putting it in a container? I guess not to lose it, but I don't know. It's just what they told me. So yeah, you put it in a small container, just let and leave the container open, just leave it alone. Then when you make up the next day, you put the battery back in. And then you turn it on, making sure that it's on the right setting, and you're good to go. Great. Um, so yeah, there's that. When I went to school, like I said, I was a kid, it's like, oh, these colors, like, it's gonna make me be so cool and popular. Um, it actually made it worse for me, because... Because of how colorful it was, it's like, I'm a peacock, and everybody thinks it's like, you know, everybody's gonna gawk at it. And of course they're gonna point it out, and they make fun of me for it, because I'm the deaf kid, so... The bullying did not stop, it only got worse because of it. Oh gosh. Um... This is the part that I'm most embarrassed about, but this is me. Of course, it's gonna happen to me. Um. So yeah, the hearing aid is about I say about that small. And if you know me, you know I lose everything. And when I say everything, I mean every fucking thing that I have, like from my keys to um. I wouldn't say money, but like my keys, my wallet, like just last, like a few months ago, I lost my wallet and had my rent money in there. So yeah, whoever stole my wallet, good on you, because I'm a dumbass. Um, you got free money, so, because my, because I had to go lose my wallet, yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad about that, apparently. It's my fault. <sighs> so yeah, I lost it. I have no idea how I lost it. It's just... Still to this day, 
it's one of those things that keeps me up, up at night that I cannot think of of the many ways I've lost it. it just it just poofed one day. It's just gone. And I don't know how long I've lost it, but um But yeah. I was kinda happy that I lost it at the same time my parents want. So More so my dad because I was on his health insurance and that thing was not cheap, so sorry dad. Um so yeah I lost it. Okay, to back it up, my parents are separated. Yes, we get it. My parents are separated, so I lived at at both at two houses, my dad's and my mom's, with my two two not two step brothers, two half brothers. And my dad at the time it was his then step wife and and her daughter. Um so basically at the time I was staying at my dad's house. So when I told him that he just he lost his mind because he he just lost it because like of course he was. I think it was not cheap. So so he he forced me to go back to my mom's house with with my stepmom at the time because he was working but she wasn't wasn't at, at that time of day. So she drove me to my mom's house and and why am I And while, um, and while my stepmom and my step, fuck. And while my stepmom and actual mom were just sitting in the room, just, you know, talking and everything. Um, I was just, you know, flipping everything upside down, just like looking at every crack and crevices I could find in the apartment. And I couldn't, and I, we couldn't find it at all. So yeah, went to my, to my dad, he was just pissed off. And it's not a fun experience for me. I don't, I don't even if I got grounded from it because it's just like. <sighs> yeah, I don't remember getting grounded from it, but I know that was in huge trouble, but. As far as punishment goes, I don't remember any punishment coming from it. So, so the week goes by, and then I'm staying in my mom's house this time. And my stepdad actually found it, and it was pretty ironic how he found it, because it was... Let me back up. Because how he found it is uh, my brothers, the, at the time, they were sharing a room, because they were kind of the same age but they were both sharing a room and I, I had my own room like beside theirs and they were just in the room you know just rough hat you know just rough housing you know just uh, fighting and all that so my youngest brother I think he was like six or seven at the time he threw just ignore the trains he literally threw dog food behind like the TV stand, and so my stepdad was real mad about it. So he goes to move the TV stand, and it's right there behind it. So, so thank you. So thank you for throwing the dog food because if you didn't, we probably would. I probably still would have not have found it to this day because. And so to say, I don't know how it ended back there. Like it's just it boggles my mind how it actually ended back there. Anywho, that was in the past, and and now that I know today that there are other types of hearing aids, um, would I actually get a different hearing aid? Yes, I would. And as to which ones, I am not sure. I would say probably the one that's more, that's more like, you know, 
not in your face colorful and huge. Probably just like the one that actually goes in your ear that you know nobody would know it is and like you know point out it's like oh it's like you're in your hearing aid because why would you point that out but yeah i have thought about setting up an appointment to do hearing tests because again because again it's been a while and who knows i don't think my hearing got better but it probably got worse and i just don't know the difference um but yeah, as of now, I am thinking about setting up an appointment and just, you know, telling them, like, a whole backstory, backstory, medical history about, you know, hearing tests and all that, and see if I still do qualify for a hearing aid, because, because as I get older, oh, as I get older, yeah, you know, it's, um, I won't say it's gotten harder to hear, but I look in a group home and I have clients who are hard of um who, who are also hard of hearing but also can't hear them. So it's like so it's literally a back and forth but like what? What? It's literally that like just <sighs> So yeah, it's just that has been on mine, and and if I do do that, hopefully I'd still be on YouTube, and I can like you know up update, update you guys on that when I do set up an appointment because I have no other when that's gonna be because I started I'm gonna say started a new job. I got rehired at a job that I, I worked at. I worked at before, and. A full time, and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to start and set up an appointment, but yeah. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, just if you guys are interested in what? If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed my Renaissance Fair video because, again, first time vlogging. I know I kind of screwed up in some parts, but you know, I'm still new at editing and all that. Um, but anyways, my name's Haley, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.